I've always got a bit bored of action cameras until now. This is the go to action camera, and this is the One X2 360 degree action camera. They're both made by a company called Insta360, who aren't sponsoring this video, but who did very kindly send me both of these to play with and keep. Now, that makes me a very lucky guy, obviously particularly when I tell you that I cannot stop using these. They are my new favorite toys. Now, the point of this video isn't to show you how fancy you can get with these cameras, because you really can. If you ever look at the website for Insta360 or their Instagram feed, you'll see some very creative uses of these. It's a bit overwhelming, to be honest. People on skateboards and surfboards and jumping out of planes and things. I don't know about you, but I haven't got time to do that. So the point of this video is to show you how I use these cameras to capture everyday life and not miss the most important parts of being a family. For that, they are superb. We'll start with the Go 2, which is one of the smallest action cams on the market. It's fully waterproof. It comes with this really cool case, which looks a bit like a AirPods Pro case. And it starts at £295 in the UK. It shoots up to 1440p video in 50 frames per second. It's also capable of HDR, time lapse, time shift and slow motion. And it comes with loads of useful accessories, including, like I said, this fantastic charging case, this magnetic pendant, which I'll come on to in a moment. There's an easy clip and also a USB-C charging cable. In terms of filming, you get about 150 minutes from a single charge when you use the case in conjunction with the camera, and it has built-in storage that you can't upgrade, it's worth bearing that in mind, which is either 32 gigabytes or 64 gigabytes. I've got the 64 gigabyte version, I'd recommend going for that, I think. That gives you enough headroom, I think, personally. As long as you regularly offload the footage, which is good practice anyway, you shouldn't run out of space. I think it's the charging case that makes all of the difference with the Go 2. It's just such a convenient thing to to carry around. And like I mentioned earlier, it's very much like the AirPods Pro. You basically put the Go 2 in here and it charges it, but also it acts as a stand. So we can flip out these little legs here and you have a little tripod built into the device itself. I take this with me everywhere I go. And as you can see, I've become completely addicted to filming time lapses. Most of these are in preparation for the vlog channel that I'm launching later this year, but it's just such an addictive way of capturing your life. And the go-to does make this super easy to do thanks to the accessories. So apart from the case, you also get this magic, not magic, magnetic, it's not magic. This isn't made by Apple. It's a magnetic pendant, which basically you put around your neck like that and you can pop it beneath your shirt. You then get your go to. And because this has a magnetic rear, you just place that on the pendant and away you go. You can go running, you can walk around your theme park, whatever it is you're doing that day, this will capture it nice and easily. But with the other accessories, you can actually attach it to pretty much anything. So you can attach it to your fridge, both inside and out if you want to. Remote control cars, we had quite a lot of fun with that on holiday. You could attach it to the pram if you're walking around a, a zoo or just around a town somewhere. And obviously, the thing you have to do absolutely is attach this to your dog. It's a great camera for workouts as well. So if you're the sort of person who likes to attach a camera to yourself while you're running, nothing wrong with that. I do it occasionally. You can track your run, you can relive certain routes and that sort of stuff, check your form, all that kind of business. Or you can set it to the really addictive time shift mode, which speeds up the footage to make you look like you're some kind of superhuman. And again, because the go-to has the magnetic rear, you can attach this to all sorts of things in the gym as well. So if you like checking your form while you're doing weightlifting and that sort of stuff, this attaches very nicely to weights. And because it's so small, you don't look like a weirdo. You know, you don't look like a peeping Tom. If you're just obviously filming yourself and checking, like I say, your form and that sort of stuff, or like me, perhaps filming things for your own vlog channel, then it's a very discreet way of filming yourself, which is quite nice. You don't just have to use it for action stuff either. It's actually a very good camera for capturing off the cuff, spur of the moment events. So for instance, we were on holiday recently in Jersey, walking back along the seafront, and I just happened to notice some skydivers in the air. And because I was basically using this all day, I had it in my hand, I very quickly opened it, 
hit record, pointed at the sky and got that footage. And as they always say, the best camera is the camera you've got to hand. And the number of times I've very quickly grabbed this and used it to film something, it kind of pays for itself in that respect. I also love the way that you can connect this to your smartphone. So if you download the Insta360 app, this connects to this, and you can basically preview the image on here, on your phone. I've used that quite a lot. If you wanna frame something, because this doesn't have a built-in screen, it's quite nice to use your phone to frame the image before you start shooting. I really do love this thing. It's completely reignited my love for action cameras. I lost that a little while ago with the GoPro because GoPros are fantastic, but they take a bit of setting up. There's lots of things that you have to add to them to make them work properly. Uh, but because this has this lovely little leg thing going on, I use it more like this. I, I don't tend to use much of the other accessories. Just being able to do that and shoot away is so brilliant. I, I love it. It's with me all the time. Now the One X2 is a consumer 360 degree action camera. And if you're not sure what a 360 degree camera is, basically it has two lenses, one on the front, one on the back, and they shoot at the same time. But what they do is shoot everything around you. So they're very, very wide angle, both of them. And thanks to some software trickery, the One X2 stitches those two images together to give you a full 360 degree view of the world. And the great thing about that is that you can just vaguely point this in the direction of what you want to film, and it's capturing everything. Now it starts at 430 pounds, which I know sounds like a lot of money, but please hear me out, because I think the party trick for this isn't necessarily all the kind of fancy shooting things you can do with it. It's the fact that it means you never, ever miss anything. We've all been there filming our kids or that frantic new puppy that you've just welcomed into your home, only to miss the most important thing that happens when you press record on the camera. It happens behind you, over there, over there, and you've lost that moment forever. That doesn't happen with this because it's always filming the entire world around you. You can also get an Insta360 selfie stick for this, which the software removes from the image. So it looks a little bit like you're filming yourself. That's how I achieved a lot of this footage where the camera is above my head and it looks like I'm not holding it. It's just kind of floating in midair. And this is great for kind of normal paced video, but yeah, you guessed it, I've got addicted to time lapses on this as well. I just can't stop shooting time lapses. I think it might be a bit of an issue. I might need to go and see someone about it, I don't know, but there's something very, very addictive with these two Insta360 cameras when it comes to time lapses. But with the One X2, the magic really takes place in the editing suite, which is known as Insta360 Studio. You can download it for your computer, it's completely free of charge. And once you've loaded your One X2 footage into Insta360 Studio, you can actually reframe all of it to your heart's degree. So if you've shot something and you've realized that you should have been pointing the camera in the other direction, you can simply swing it around in the software. But if you want to get really creative, you can add something called keyframes, which is basically a way of adding motion to the footage. So you can pan, you can tilt, you can zoom in and out. I've really enjoyed creating these kind of slow pans at either normal speed or during time lapses. And again, that's just because those two lenses are shooting away at the same time. And within Insta360 Studio, I can set those keyframes just to gently pan around the image. It's a really nice looking thing. There are some slightly more surreal things that you can do with the One X2 when you get the footage into the Insta360 Studio. So for instance, you can zoom out completely and see this kind of weird 3D ball of your surroundings. There aren't many use cases for that, but it is quite fun to play around with. There's also a very useful tracking feature in Insta360 Studio, and that enables you to choose a subject in the frame and then allow the AI within the software to automatically follow it. I tried that with this fairground ride, as you can see. It's pretty good, actually. That was moving pretty quickly. But you can imagine if you're perhaps, you know, filming your kid playing football or something or filming a car or something like that, the ability to track it and let the software do the tracking and all the panning, etc. That's very, very handy. Although this is an expensive camera, I do think it pays for itself pretty quickly. There's been numerous times when I've gone back and looked at the footage from this and swung the camera around in Insta360 Studio and spotted something behind me, something completely out of view that I should have been filming. You can't do that with a normal camera. I think that alone is worth the price. You just don't miss anything. And once again, just like the Go 2, this will not be leaving my side.
These are both fantastic action cameras from Insta360, but when you first get them, the wealth of options and the test footage that you see on Insta360's website can make them a little bit overwhelming. My advice with this, unless you do have a helicopter or a snowboard, or if you're some kind of extreme athlete, is to just use them as normal cameras because ironically, that is where they absolutely shine. The ability to document and capture your everyday life with a go-to is, I think, priceless. And equally priceless is the ability to capture everything, even things you don't think you're filming, with the One X2. So a big thumbs up from me for the Go2 and the One X2. I'll put links in the description so you can check them out yourselves. I featured the One X2 in a recent summer accessories video as well. So if you want to see if there's anything else in there that could be a nice little toy for yourself this summer, even though summer is rapidly ending, regardless, maybe for next summer, keep watching for a link to that video.